So, as expected, the video I made about Stefan Clark and his Asian baby mama hating black women was met with some understanding, but mostly just a bunch of confusion. Um, and I, I hate that this is the situation that we're in. I hate that this is black people continuing to not understand what it means to have any type of codes. In this video, apparently a lot of people perceived what I was saying as to suggest that they support Stefan Clark. I put this comment up because I saw how many people were still commenting that they were not going to support him. And that's really not the point. Actually, most of you don't support black people anyway. So, uh, which is why we can't boycott shit, boycott holidays, protest holidays. We don't have the power to boycott the NFL. You know, m most black people don't care about black folk anyway. So to come on here, and one, I never suggested to support him. I suggested that we have a code and don't be out here publicly all over these white platforms expressing our disdain. I said here, I see many of you that are saying you won't be standing up for him, and that's fine. My point is we shouldn't be saying this stuff on social media. That's my point. We need to stay on code and not condemn him to death in front of these white folk, even if he was a damn coon. We didn't find this out until he died. Or I should have put until he was murdered. Um, but I'll continue. I was mad when I heard that the cops shot an unarmed black man. I would just expect y'all to not fill this comment section saying you won't be supporting him. Send me an email if it's that serious, but don't do it on public platform. This is alluding. The sense of it is it is not making any sense to black folk. I read this comment from a one candy girl. She says, I hear you, Rob, but we have to start openly condemning these coons to send the message that we are not accepting or tolerating this type of betrayal. White folks need to see we ain't taking it too, so they will know not to send their coons to do their work. Again, in this situation, I don't know that a, a white man or anybody white sent him to do any of their work, so, uh, so to speak. Um, this man disparaged my black ass, my daughter, my mother, my aunts, my grandma, my cousins. Sorry, not sorry. I have zero loyalty to a coon because they will have zero loyalty for my people. And yes, the race soldier shot him down because he was black, but we'll let the Asian community march for him since they had his loyalty. Don't hold your breath. It's called karma. Now, again, people are misconstruing what I'm saying here, you know, like... Is you're not sorry that he was murdered. You don't care that he was killed. And I think it was a younger brother. And some of you may uh, even know of before Malcolm X was Malcolm X, he was Malcolm Little running around with white hoes and all types of shit like that. And um, I don't know what this brother's life would have been. I'm not saying he would have been a reformed coon. I'm not saying he would have got his healing. What I am saying, though, is that, yes, he was a coon. Yes, he said very disparaging things about black women. But for us to be like, well, you know, fuck him, you know, and fuck his life and all that shit. I, I get what's being said, but what we're not understanding is we shouldn't be doing it on a public platform. If your opinion that he should deserve to die um, because he was a coon, then send me an email. I mean, I don't understand. Like, why do we have to publicly, uh, you know, just publicly be against um, somebody who was murdered by the cops? I don't understand that mentality. Candy Girl continues to say, uh, and well, I do want to mention this karma 
I got a couple comments on this uh, on my in my comment section talking about some damn karma. This ain't no damn karma. What are y'all even talking about? Like when people chalk stuff up to karma, I look at them as they try to you know most of them will try to act like they're not religious. They don't believe in religious and, and all this shit. But karma is the same as Jesus. I mean the same. Uh, mentality that something is some cosmic force is that was his um, um, you know that was his basically his sentencing for being a coon and that's just not it's just not true at all it's not called karma karma is not even a real thing um, I don't understand that uh, that we like to say that as well uh, Candy Girl continues to say part of the code is to check into these guys' backgrounds and see what they were on and what their mentality is. All skin folk, folk ain't our kin folk. Look at Obama. That's most definitely true. All skin folk ain't kin folk. Part of the code needs to be reprimanding coons and being choosy about who we defend. Just like blacks, just like blacks were behind Malcolm X's death, we cannot keep supporting coons because they black. That mis mentality is detrimental to our community. Now, to even suggest that me now, of all people, me, I'm supporting a coon because he's black. <laughs> like, <laughs> what in the fuck are y'all talking? Like, it is so crazy to me. Like, I don't support no damn coons and didn't even come out here and say I supported um, him. What I'm, what I'm against is black men being murdered by the cops. That's it. I'm against that. I, I wouldn't have cared if, if you know, I, his mentality is not much of a, you know, it's not much of a thing to me. I'm against cops killing black men and getting off. I'm against them seeing us and automatically feeling threatened, automatically feeling as though they have to murder us. That's what I'm against. So, again, to suggest that we cannot keep supporting coons because they black. Why would you be saying that to me? I don't. I don't understand that. Why are you saying that to me? I don't support coons because they black. It doesn't make any sense. Brother named Brandon, Bur, uh, Brandon. I could be saying his last name wrong, but Brandon Burr says. When I saw this, I was super disappointed and shocked, as was I, brother. I will continue to speak out on police brutality and impunity of killing unarmed black men, but I won't be riding for him on this. Co-signing his Asian girlfriend, shitting on the women of his racial group, don't sit well with me either. It doesn't sit well with me either. I mean, at all. This is not me saying, y'all have to support him. Just keep standing up for black men that are are speaking out against the system that is killing black men. I don't give a damn what hashtag you use. You can put your goddamn name on there. I wouldn't give a shit because ain't no telling where the hell it might be you next. Use your own name. I don't give a damn what name y'all use. But we still can't be okay with this publicly. Publicly, we cannot be okay with this. And I'm seeing a lot of this black men versus black woman you know, rhetoric coming out and putting on the forefront. Denise Harris says, personally, I am not surprised by this, yet it's black women who are marching, crying, and putting themselves in harm, what, harm's way for men who often don't give a shit about us. And what was the Asian broad when Stefan's black grandma was on TV crying her eyes out? I'm not seeing her out, uh, out front protesting his murder. She's probably already hiding back safe in her own Asian community. The younger generation of black males are learning this self-hate behavior from older black males, but no worries, they will reap what they sow. This is the reaping what they sow is the, you know, religious aspect, same as karma. It is not really that true. Um, to say that the all the, the all the black younger men that have this mentality are learning it from older black males is it's just disingenuous it's disingenuous how do you know where he got this behavior from again i'm not saying that he didn't but all self-hating black males got the behavior from older black males and that's just not true a lot of these um black men who hate black women and black women who hate uh black men uh they got it because they took 
their painful experiences, whatever it was, whatever self-hate they had in them that may have been instilled from within their family, or they had negative experiences with the opposite sex, um, or within their community had neg negative experiences with black people. A lot of these things are happening. Not saying that some people don't, I guess, would be learn the behavior from, you know, the would be older generation, but that's just to hang that on uh, all older black men is just not um, it's disingenuous. It's not, it's not real shit to me. And they're not going to reap what they sow. So y'all just, this argument and this karma shit, y'all, that's not real shit. But again, you have black women versus black men being perpetuated. Jewel McInnes says, I will not be for this black man. Forget that. Not saying he should not get justice. He won't. Um, but I will not be standing for him. I don't give a damn what no one says. Again, I never suggested that you stand for him. I suggested that you don't put this shit in public. The comprehension skills of black people worries me a lot of times. Because all I'm saying is we don't have to do this in public. Y'all can do this in private. You can do it. Um, 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 you can uh, send messages. You don't have to be put in public plat uh, putting on public platforms how you don't or won't be standing up for him most y'all black folk ain't standing up for shit so i don't even understand why that has to be said anyway i don't get that i don't know why so many of y'all are dying to tell me how you you don't give a fuck i know that that's been shown that a lot of us don't give a fuck by and large we don't ravishing rebel says if I were the one murdered, he would not have rallied or spoke up on the injustice. So there, so therefore I want on his behalf. I agree, Rob, his views aren't the reason he got killed, but it's no different than a celebrity to me. I only support those who support me. Again, I understand that. Seeing a lot of these types of comments, I get that. Like what well, spoke up on his injustice or speak, you don't want to speak up or anything like that. Most of us aren't doing much on the lines of speaking up anyway. You know, we'll we'll put our little maybe uh, have a meme or something on, or we don't. We're not really speaking up or speaking out. Like we don't do that. So the fact that there's a lot of people like, you know, well, nah, I ain't gonna fuck with them, or I ain't gonna fuck like you don't fuck with them anyway. It's not like there's just a large number of black people giving a fuck about what's going on with the black folks. I don't even know why we have to say that. We don't have to say it. It's already an understood thing. Angie Cranston says, no sympathy for me. I wouldn't even waste my energy. That's fine. No one's, I didn't suggest nobody have sympathy for him. Um, the fact that you wouldn't have any sympathy for him at all per his mentality, even though they didn't shoot him per his mentality, they shot him because he was black. So even if, your son, if you have a son, was a freedom fighter. There ain't no sympathy coming for him either. If we don't have sympathy, which I understand, but they don't give a fuck about what we're thinking about or what's on our mind. They don't, they don't care about all of that. Miss Yum Yum 69 says, a lot of these dudes hate us because we make black babies. He said right there he didn't want no black babies because he's black. I will stop saying RIP for this man, but it doesn't change the way I feel about this crooked ass justice system. Those white uh, pig cops still need death, death to white supremacy and all her obedient brats. Respect. I can, I can respect that. I can respect that. You'll stop saying R.I.P. And almost like we make it seem like we just posting about him every day or something. And I don't I don't I don't see that happening at all. But if you're going to start stop saying R.I.P. Fine. I wasn't saying I don't know why we say R.I.P. to begin with. If you ask me, there is no such thing as resting in peace as you're murdered in your grandma's backyard. I don't see where R.I.P. would come from anyway, other than it just being a programmed uh, uh, trigger response to somebody being killed. We just always say R.I.P. I don't believe there's any peace coming in this situation. Understand though what we're saying. You know, we have to be mindful of our words. But I do respect the fact that you still said fuck the crooked ass justice system. You won't be saying RIP 
but I wish your comment would have started with, you know, uh, would have started with you just saying that you don't change the way you feel about this system. Those white pig cops still need death. I like I like the conversation to stay there. The baller says, although it's sad and he deserves justice, but as a black woman, this is a this upsetting. I'm not going to take time out of my day to fight for his cause. This is a slap in the face. It's almost like <clears throat> we feel as though us fighting for a cause, which would be, you know, whether we march in or protesting or whatever we're doing. That shit ain't really it's, it's not working anyway, because we don't do that right anyway. So to tell the system or to say on public forum that, you know, you you just not going to take time out of your day. Like it, it really don't matter whether you take time out of your day or not, because what happens with uh, white supremacy is they're taking all their time out of all their days to deal with us, whether the mentality is cool or not. That's what they're doing with us. That's how they handle us. Again. We don't need to be doing this on public forum. Maybe I should have disabled the fucking comments and shit. Maybe that's my fault because I could have done that. On a video like this, I should have disabled the comments. So at least my page wouldn't be used to justify uh, murdering him based on him being a, a, a coon. And maybe that's what I should have did. Ashante White said it's understandable why black women w wouldn't want to march for him, but what does that have to do with the other brothers? Uh, other, I'm sure it's still in this situation, there still will be uh, black people, both men and women, uh, marching and rallying uh, on, on his behalf, most definitely. I don't think in, I'm not thinking if, if black women decide they don't want to march for him, then, then there won't be nothing uh, said. Um, that's the assumption that only black women uh, march and stand up and speak out and that's just that's just not true. That's just not true. Summer's Journey says, LOL, this guy telling black women to support him simply because he's black. Never said that at all. Not once in the video. This is like living in a twilight zone. Rob, here's a suggestion. You get your black brothers together and fight on his behalf. Again, black women should never be put on the front line of protesting. Black women, please do not get a criminal record or risk getting, harming yourself for these people who hate you. It's truly not worth it. Let these black guys fight on behalf of themselves and let non-black women who they uh, extol fight alongside with them. Again, I never said black women should be or anybody should be supporting him. Simply because it's black, I said we need to stay on code. That's all I said. It's stay on code. That doesn't equal support. That equals, sometimes staying on code could just be you shutting the fuck up. And y'all don't understand that. And it's clear that that's not understood because these comments are being made because we don't understand that shit. Y'all black folk think y'all smart. Y'all think y'all uh, uh, have, you know, some type of, at least y'all will speak about being intelligent, but I can't see it because we talk about codes, but we're not ready at no point to implement codes. It don't matter what the situation is. When I talk about codes, they're not there. People don't get it. A lot of times a code is shutting the fuck up. Like, it's just being quiet. But with the, the, the conversation... Uh, needs or, or becomes black women and what they shouldn't do for black men. That's no good, y'all. That's no good. I had a lot of comments on this video. A lot of comments. Rochelle McLean says, I cannot support a man who hates me. Oh, man, I lost a comment. Fuck, I lost a comment. I lost a fucking comment. But Rachel here says, many black men hate black women. That's the reason for all the disrespect. 
there are a lot of black men who hate black women and hate themselves um, just as well as brother Stefan. He hated himself too. Most definitely hated himself and black women. Captain says, unfortunately for him, selling out brings karma too. A lot of y'all like talking about karma. Elegant Noor says, so many black men hate black women. Stephen Clark is, is not an anomaly. He hated black women, black people, his own blackness. I will never protest or march for him. Again, understand, y'all don't have to say this on, on this video. This is a good comment. Deja, the African goddess, says, This should be a wake-up call to all self-hating, cooned-out black folks who believe dating outside their race is going to somehow exempt them from being murdered by devils. Stefan was on that uh, same BS and still got killed. He experienced his dark day even while being with a non-black woman, despite him saying that dark days come from black women. My heart goes out to the grandma and the babies, but I refuse to cape for any coon just like I won't do for a devil. They're the same in my eyes. I was quiet about the story for a reason, just like I was with his embarrassing suspect brother, Stevante, and his ridiculous behavior on television. He's also a coon. I love my people, uh, but the ones like Stefan who act and think like a devil will get treated as such for me with no love or respect. It's almost like people talking about him like he alive. <laughs> People talking about him like he alive, you know, which is I, I like the first part of this comment. I thought I, I didn't know where it was going to go. I did like the first part. It should be a lesson and wake up call for all self-hating, cooned out black folks who think that dating on the other side is somehow going to save them. I do like that part. Um, but it's just like, you know, <sighs> we've condemned them to die, basically. Basically, we've condemned him to die and we've turned this into yet another black man versus black woman rhetoric. Another comment from a name that I won't even try to pronounce. I don't care, support, march, feel bad for coons who openly disrespect or let their partners disrespect black women. It's none of my business that they get killed and mistreated by the very group they throw us under the bus for white Asian and other. I'm gonna keep supporting my real brothers and sisters. Hashtag karma. Hashtag unbar unbothered. Hmm. Again, I don't know about this karma y'all be talking about. I have. I, I don't know. I don't even know what that means. I don't know whether that makes us feel good to talk about karma. Because if karma was real, when the cop pulled the trigger, the bullet would have backfired and, and blew up in his face or something. The gun would have blew up in his face or some shit or, you know, something. Because when the cops going to get they got damn karma, like, if we just getting karma, you know, he hates himself, he hates his skin. For this, speaking about against black women, it's his karma to be killed by cops and us to not even learn this until after he's dead. And they went back and, you know, they got these, uh, not saying his mentality changed, but, you know, his little tweets from 2013, 14, 15, you know, they went back and got him. I don't know if, if that was, I really don't know as far as his Twitter activity. I don't really know about that. But what I do know is that black people are not understanding what it means to be on code. And what I'm saying in the video, and I thought I made it very, very clear what I'm saying. You don't have to support, you don't have to march, you don't have to protest, but what we should not be doing, we can condemn his behavior, I get that, condemn the behavior of a self-hating um, black man, 
a black man that hates black women, condemn that behavior. But to take it that second step to talk about how you won't be rallying for him, you won't be supporting him, that's only saying one thing to this system. Now all I gotta do is come out here and show that somebody has some type of anti-black uh, uh, mentality and we'll just say, fuck them. You know, they deserve to die. It's their karma. I don't think we should be doing that. I really don't. And it's the same thing I said when, whenever everybody was talking shit about Monique. A lot of times you can be on code just by being quiet. You could speak on self-hate. The hate between black men and black women. But again, this conversation has turned into uh, black women versus black men or black men versus black women. This is in his death. Per some tweets, now the conversation is about, um, you know, black men versus black women. Again, that's where it's ingenious to that every conversation comes back to that. No matter what. Um, to suggest that I'm telling you to support him because he's black. Is bullshit. That's not what I said at all. Wouldn't say that because I, I don't believe in that. What I'm saying is before y'all knew anything about his tweets, he was a black man who was shot and killed in the back of his grandma's house before y'all knew about those tweets. This is what happens to black men, women, and children in this country. Period. You know, this is what goes on, regardless of mentality, regardless of mindset. You don't have to support them. You don't got to protest. You ain't got to put no hashtag up. You ain't got to wear no t-shirt saying, you know, the no RIP shit. You don't have to do any of that. If you don't support them, just don't support them. Doesn't make much sense to me, but I'll say, okay, don't support them, but don't publicly come out here and act like it's cool. Like, that's the part that's, that doesn't make any sense to me. All these black folk that's been killed, murdered, even before social media came out, you don't know what mindset that was. I don't sit here and think, well, shit, you know, uh, 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 the black people that were brutalized back in the 60s and 70s and hell, 50s and the slaves that were running off the plantation that were caught. And, you know, I, I don't know what, what mentality it was or what they tweeted two, three years ago. I don't know anything about that. I just know it's fucked up. That's all I know is that it's fucked up. That's it. That's all I will say is that black men, black women, black children out here being murdered by the cops with impunity. That's it. That could be your only contribution to the situation if, the, if it must be anything. But if you don't want to support, keep it to yourself. It's okay. You, it's okay to do that. It's okay to keep that shit to yourself. Nothing wrong with that at all. We're creating a climate and really a way that now they could use this against us moving forward. All they got to do is find some stuff or hell, even create some stuff. It's their internet. They social media sites. They can do whatever the fuck they want to do. To have us... Nah, I ain't marching for him. Okay. Good chance you wasn't marching for no goddamn body anyway. But thank you for... Letting us know that you're not more. Oh, I'm not protesting. Well, there's a good chance you're not protesting for any goddamn thing. You're not speaking up against any goddamn thing anyway. So we didn't really need to know that you weren't going to support a protest. We know that black people ain't really doing too much support in the protesting of any goddamn thing, which is why we're about to do Easter with them tomorrow. Again, well, I don't know what y'all saying to all this shit for. I don't get that. Black folk ain't riding for the team any goddamn way. And that's why we're here. There is no team. There is no code. There is no uh, reasoning with black people to have a code. It's just express whatever disdain you have with black people, even in their murder by the cops, as to how you're not going to support and how black women need to stop supporting black men as a whole because black men don't love them. This is the conversation. This is where the conversation is. And anybody who watched this video and heard me say, support him because he's black, then find that, timestamp it for me, and comment that on this video. I just, because I, I don't know what the fuck people heard. Don't know what they heard.
but I damn sure didn't say support him because he was black. What I said was, y'all don't have to say it publicly. We don't have to be out here in these streets saying, fuck Stefan Clark. We don't have to do that. At all. At all. But, that's all the fuck I want to say, man. It just upsets me that we talk about these fucking codes and there ain't one. You know, coons need to be called out. Of course they do. Of course they do. But when a black man is murdered by the cops, they're not thinking nothing about him being a damn coon. They don't give a fuck about none of that shit. When they murder black women, they don't give a damn whether she a coon or not. They don't give a shit when they murder uh, black children. They don't give a damn whether they are a coon at that point. They're going to be a coon in 10 years. or that, that, that shit's not, that's not what's happening. So I don't know how that's taking over the conversation. And we don't see how detrimental that mentality and even putting that out here in public. I won't even say the mentality. I'll say just putting it out here in public. Why can't we can keep that shit to ourselves? If you want me to know that you don't support him, email me. Email me. If you want me to know that bad, email me. But we should be keeping some of this shit to ourselves. That's all the fuck I want to say, man. It's your motherfucking man's name, y'all. I'm out.